Hey everyone, it's Carol here. Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel again today. I really appreciate your visit. Let me go ahead and insert my apology right here for the sound quality if I haven't fixed it by the time you're viewing this video. So today we are making custom sheet washi tape. This is really simple and easy. Oh, listen to the squeaky chair, excuse me. I am using a 6 by 6 inch wide by 100 yards of transfer tape. I got this off of Amazon. It is a low tack uh, tape. It's like um, masking tape, and it's but it's thinner than masking tape. Perfect for printing on, jelly printing, running it through your printer, and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be printing on this with some um, printer ink. <laughs> And I'm about to show you how I do that right here. So I have already set up in my printer in my computer system where this image is going to print. I've already marked it and I folded my paper to give me that crease so I know where to align this this tape at. I'm just going to use some masking tape because it has a stronger tack. I'm just going to put that on the back of the paper to hold it in place while I put this transfer tape down on top. And again, this is a very low tack um, uh, transfer tape, and it's for it's actually used for vinyl to transfer vinyl onto your projects. So, um, so yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted because I'm hearing some noises in the other room. My granddaughter's sleeping. I'm trying not to wake her. So anyway, I'm going to place this where that crease is. I like to do a little overhang so it hangs off uh, a little bit further off of the top and the bottom so I can tuck that tape behind the paper so it doesn't get jammed up in my printer. And again, I'm just indicating where I'm placing it at. I've already in my software, I'm using Word uh, for this particular project, um, I've already measured it um, or set the image to be six inches wide and six inches by eight inches even though the paper is eleven and a half long the picture would be distorted if I um, printed it out to those measurements so I, I, I'm just printing it out by uh, six by by eight and I don't know what's taking me so long to get this tape on this paper but I do want it straight and you want to make sure it's straight and that it's flat there's no bubbles or wrinkles in this tape so as you can see I'm flipping it over now and I'm pulling that tape to the back and even on the back you want to make sure that that's, that that's flat with no wrinkles or bumps in it so it doesn't get jammed in your printer. I'm using a Artisan 1430 printer. This is not the printer I would recommend using for it because that the ink is expensive, but my other inkjet printer is um, at odds with me today, so I'm gonna use this printer. So once it's finished, uh, once I, I'm, I'm not going to show this printing on camera. Uh, I just wanted to show you how I place the tape. So now it's printed, and again, this is 6 by 8. If I let it go all the way to the edge, it would have been distorted. So you'll just have to play around with it uh, on your printer. So um, I've got it lined up pretty well. I do have a slight little margin to the right, which is fine, which made it go over the edge on the left, but I'm just gonna lop that off anyway. This pattern that you see is actually from a hand carved three quarter, um, a quarter repeat stamp that I did, and I just manipulated it in, in some software and printed it on here so that I've got a complete um, semi-complete page but feel free to use anything that you want to do I've also cut it into some strips uh, for washi tape strips and that's the beauty of this you can cut them as thin or as wide as you want to you can color this afterwards with 
markers, permanent ink. Um, you can see that I've cut some shapes out of here. Um, I cut it with a Cricut and I used the Cricut setting for removable sticker. Um, that is enough to go through this tape and it goes through the back of this paper just a little bit and this is just regular copy paper that I'm using. I could have just used copy paper and had to cut the whole thing out and then peel it off later. So, But whatever cutter you're using, you can go ahead and experiment with those settings. But anywhere you place the images, you're going to get a nice, interesting effect on those shapes that you do. So here I've covered a tag. I've uh, colored it with Copic marker. And where I'm pointing to is a mermaid marker, which is a water-soluble ink. And I want to protect this because this is, again, this is printer ink, and it is going to move with wet medium so I'm going to put some Daddy Vans furniture polish down it's unscented beeswax and that's going to protect it from any kind of wet medium now what you see me pulling out here is dry wipes that have dried out so they're not wet and I'm going to apply I'm just I think I'm just explaining that the little dabber that I use is a little dirty because I've gone over these images before and it does move, um, sometimes it does move the ink a little bit. So I'm just using a clean white so that I can go ahead and protect the, this background. And after you do this, you only need a little bit. And after you do this, you're not going to really feel anything. It's going to give it a slight sheen, but it's going to protect it from any wet medium. You can go ahead and glue other things on top of it after that. And you can even do some acrylic painting too. Now what I want to do is I'm just kind of showing you an example. This is this does not have the daddy bands over it. And I'm using a um, mermaid marker. Again, it's water soluble ink. And then I'm just coloring in. I'm not even being careful about it. Uh, with some Copic markers. But by the way, if you do use Copic markers, be aware of touching the printer ink may transfer onto your marker, so you're going to want to clean those off really good. I'm just dabbing a little bit more of the mermaid ink here. Now I just want to give it a quick little dry. Oh, and by the way, um, once you pull this out of the printer, you want to let it dry for a little bit before you start playing around with it. So here I've, I've dabbed some water on and I'm just kind of showing how it affects. And it does run some. That was too quick to show. I'm sorry. This video is speeded up, so I just want to get through that so that you can see, so you can get to playing with your um, washi tape. So I put some Daddy Vans on there and now I spritz some water on to show how that beads up and it doesn't move the color underneath at all. And what you do see moving is the ink, the black ink from the printer and that's not where the Daddy Vans was at. The possibilities of this making, customizing and making your own washi tape are just endless because you can basically print whatever you want. I did go ahead and use some Tim Holtz embossing glaze. This stuff is magnificent. I've used some uh, speckled egg and then there's some cracked pistachio in his new one, Kitsch Flamingo. They're all light and translucent, but it gives it this nice little hue. And do keep in mind, because the tape is a manila color, anything that you print in color, it's going to mute those colors a little bit just because it's a type of yellow. And here in this journal that I'm uh, just putting these samples in, you can see that wherever you put your image or your shapes, it's going to... Um, it's going to give that shape or that image a really nice effect. And again, because it's a low tack tape, it's peeling up some, so it is going to need your assistance with some uh, a glue stick or something behind it to make it permanent. But look at those. Aren't those really cute? 
And just think if you do a whole bunch all over your designs, they're all going to come out looking different just because where the design is placed at on the, on the print. So like I said, you can do strips, you can do, uh, you just, you can cover, I covered a, um, an art journal, I don't show that here, but I'll, I'll show that at the end. But listen, I'll try to leave the link for the tape in the description, and oh, here I use the washi tape as clothes, I love doing that, and um, yeah, so look, have fun with it, if you try it, leave your comments down below to let us all know how you liked it, and if you got some suggestions suggestions let us know thanks for checking out my video see you next time bye